your favorite. Fell brings us to the Superdome in downtown New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. The kicker for the Saints, Will Lutz, has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll get it up just past the 10. Now Jackson on first down, sliding out of the pocket. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Example, trying to look downfield, he's standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. He's going deep for Brown, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. He juked him, and he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared, but I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. They'll roll him out right. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Evans are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. That's full. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, and the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. On third down, Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone? Makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Following the interception, Winston. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. Here's a diving catch right side. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Will Lutz on for the point after. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he will not make it into the end zone. But a flag down here. And I think they're going to get another shot at this. Will Lutz on for the point after. to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it's incomplete. But a flag is down here, so hang on. Let's see what we've got. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. Winston to throw for it. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The penalty got them half the distance to the goal down to the run, made that try a little easier. Yeah, without a doubt. And it opens up your playbook, doesn't it? From the one yard line, run, pass, do whatever you want there. And they did it successfully. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. <laughs> This is taken just shy of the 10. And not much happening on the return. Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimental? And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And he's able to take this one. To the 36-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Winston steps away. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Jameis Winston, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now here's Winston as his guys will line up and go for the two-point conversion. They'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he is in to make it 16 to nothing. I think we're sensing a trend here. Two first-half touchdowns. After going for two after the first score, CD, I thought maybe they would kick the PAT here. No, they get two more. No, they decided to really press the advantage because, remember, getting the two after the first score, you've already got the other team back on their heels if they're going to mount a comeback. But to go up two scores... The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Play action. It's Jackson. And one more time, that's Watkins. And he'll go down, but not before he gets the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. As this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. There we go now as they will again try for two. Jackson here is going to look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he is in for the two points. And they're back within his score as the lead's cut to eight. So the signal caller doing it himself there. On the Justin Tucker making off the Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Saints <laughs> offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On second and 12, Hill. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And that will complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Winston rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, 77 yards. And the Saints now at six to their lead. The first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over. Lutz now to kick this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll get it up across and set at the line for this next drive. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown 
looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we said. Play action. Now Jackson. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that is... Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. They'll try and throw for it to Jackson. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this beat. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And he takes a shot on pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. To throw again is Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Jackson, he'll buy some time right. That's complete, it's Rashad Bateman. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Out to his left. Throwing middle, but completion there. That should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second and 10, Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Meanwhile, to perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And Jack from the 13, now they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. To throw is Jackson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to win in this game. But that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. They'll try and throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football in that day. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like... As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Jameis to throw it. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And they are going to set out a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Here's Winston, sliding out of the pocket. They'll find it's tight in. It's at a spot for the completion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll take a shot for the end zone. That is caught. Traquan Smith, touchdown Saints. Three touchdown passes now in the ball game for Jameis Winston. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Peyton going to say, let's go for two on this one. Throwing Winston. They'll roll him out right. 
And he is into the end zone for two more as the lead moves up to 16. And that was the old QB one-man band play there on the conversion. And look, let's face it, even quarterbacks who don't have great mobility, in certain situations, they're able to actually take the ball in themselves. Remember way back when Joe Namath against the I Giants at the Yale Bowl, right? Remember Joe had all those knee operations. They thought he couldn't run it. No one accounted for him. Even offense set at the line for this next drive as they take over with exactly one minute to go. He goes full extension, and he's got it. And up to the... Jackson on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Marcus Davenport able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both teams going through their final halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football. And to bring you the second half from the Superdome, let's go back to Brandon and Charles. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set now to go through the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. 